Well, I am at Mog Lake, also known as Round Lake, access point number one. I've never been here before. I'm doing a five day, four night loop here, starting on Mog Lake. Uh, I'm staying on North T West tonight. Tomorrow night I'll be staying on Bigger. Uh, the next night I'm on Three Mile, and then the last night I'm on Manitou, and then I'm back out. I've got about just over 7,500 meters of portages to do, and um, a lot of paddling. 13 portages in total, so I need to get going. So I'll see you in a bit. So before I get going today, I have to do a little test. I um, have purchased a canoe pack, finally. <laughs> uh, I realized that my backpack has been causing me not to be able to single carry, possibly, um, because of where the yoke is and where the seat is. My pack was uh, way up behind my neck, and um, this pack is lower. So I tried it on last night, and it didn't look as low as I thought it was going to be. And I'm not sure if it's going to work. So my thought is I'm going to portage single carry <laughs> from the parking lot to the put-in. And if the pack does not interfere with the seat and the yoke and gives me potential of single carry, I will keep it. If not, then I have to take everything out of this bag and put it back in my regular backpack and I'll just bring the pack back because there's no point in paying a lot of money for a pack if it doesn't suit your purpose. So I'm going to give it a try and see how it goes. Well, that's disappointing. It didn't work. The canoe pack is still... Uh, being pushed down by the seat so there's no point in keeping the pack so I gotta switch my bags now and uh, just try to do that really quickly so I can get on my way boom all right canoes at the water bag is repacked and is super full <laughs> and uh, I guess I'm gonna be on my way shortly well I just got my pack in the boat and uh, just about to set off big black cloud it's starting to rain <laughs> it's not even supposed to rain until 10 o'clock tonight all right the trip has begun and we're off well I just crossed Brown Lake and I didn't do any filming because I was getting blown around by the wind like a kite <laughs> um, I forgot how light this boat is I put my backpack in the front and nothing in the back. I forgot to bring a dry bag to fill with water to put in the back. So I was just paddling on the right side the whole time and stern ruddering on the left to straighten myself out and it was a really big fight. Um, we just stopped at the end of the lake here before going into uh, the Amable de Fonda River, which takes me into North Sea West. Um, I moved my ursac to the back uh, my food bag. It's not super super heavy, but it's heavy at least maybe it'll make a little difference But I'm hoping that in the river it will be better uh, The wind just picked up when I got on the water and it's super super windy out here. So um, I Hope I make it Off I go Well now I'm in the river and the wind pushed me in here and it looks pretty calm in here, so <sighs> That was kind of scary. I didn't like that. Wow, what a huge difference. I don't know if the phone is picking up the sound of the wind over there, but it's totally calm here. I'm so grateful. <laughs> There's something really loud walking over there, and I was just waiting to see a moose pop out. But I don't see anything. I have to keep going. This is absolutely stunning. It's making my paddle that I just had across Kawewe Mog so much better. I 
I looked online today and I saw that uh, Manitou, which is uh, where I'm staying my last night on Sunday, is fully booked. 42 sites. I bet you this river is going to be a lot different looking on Monday. <laughs> We must be getting close to the lake because the wind is picking up. <laughs> well, I keep paddling and paddling. I keep thinking that the water is going to open up, but it gets a little wider and then it gets narrower. <laughs> it gets a little windy and then it gets calm again. So I'm not quite there yet. Well, I have just spotted portage number one. Portage number one of 13. I believe 135 meters and I have another one after this to get into North Sea. So the first portage <laughs> got a bit of a steep hill at the start. I've seen worse. There's lots of nice tree roots Ugh. that work as steps. So, there we have it. Nice short portage, just how I like them. <laughs> Not even worth getting out of the boat for almost. I got to the other side and was like, oh, there must be more around the corner. But that was it. It was the end. <laughs> there we go. Well, I think I hear waterfalls ahead, which means most likely portage number two. Stairway to tea. <laughs> North tea. Interesting. <laughs> I like it. Stairs too. With a path in the middle. Not as many stairs on this side. to North T West. The wind looks like it's died down, which I'm very happy about, but it's raining. But uh, I'd rather take the rain over the wind any day. I'm so happy right now. The water's like glass and um, I put a ro rock in the back of the boat so it's tracking pretty nice. All is well. Well, it's 10 to 9 and I finally found a site. Um, there was one early on in the lake and I, the water was so nice and calm and it's supposed to rain tomorrow so I thought, you know what, I'm going to go as far as I can. And then every site I found had people on it. So um, it doesn't look too spectacular but it'll do. You know, you've arrived to your campsite late when you go to take a picture and the flash comes on. <laughs> I need to get cracking, so uh, I'm going to do that right now. Well, it's uh, about 9.35, something like that. Um, got my tent set up over there. Probably can't see it because it's almost dark, dark. Um, just making dinner. My dinner tonight, I just bought a sausage. And... Um, a bun. Put some mustard on it at the house this morning and uh, I'm just going to cook this up really fast in the pan 
and eat it because I'm starving. And um, then I'm going to head to the tent. So uh, I'll do a recap in a little bit. Well, I did not bring my... Um... <laughs> There's a loon. <laughs> I did not bring my gravity filter this trip. I just brought my straw with the pump and... <laughs> I'm way too tired and lazy to pump right now, so I just went and filled up my bottle. I'm going to put some of my Pyrenees drops in there, and um, I still have some water left in a cup here from earlier, so we'll just drink that until this is ready. Just sitting here with my fake campfire, my Lucy light. It's doing a great job of illuminating my sight just a little bit. I'm providing some really nice ambiance to go with my loon calls this evening. There's two owls outside and they're calling to each other. It's pretty cool. Of course they're going to stop. I don't know if you can hear it, it's really far away. But there's another owl answering him back with a different call. So cool. The owls and the loons seem to take turns. I wonder if I'm gonna hear the wolves. It is Thursday night. I had a, a challenging day. Um, it was it was good. I mean, it's good now. It had a good ending, but um, last few days I haven't been feeling well. Today my ear was hurting. This morning I woke up with a migraine. I couldn't see for like the first half hour of my day. Um, yesterday I got sick at work, so I'm not sure what, what was wrong with me, but I haven't been feeling my best, so I was a little worried about um, coming into this trip and uh, then I got delayed today with um, the canoe pack issue and you know it not being able to fit uh, where the seat is there in the boat um, and having to transfer all my gear over so once I got that done I was like okay I'm good it's six o'clock I got time and then I hit Round Lake and the wind was crazy I was just getting blown around like a kite um, I forgot how light that canoe is so uh, that that was tough. It was a really tough paddle. I I felt unstable. Um, I did not enjoy it. There were parts of me that were saying, "I'm going home tomorrow. What am I doing out here in this boat? I'm gonna fall in." Like stuff like that, which I didn't actually. It just I don't know. I I wasn't I wasn't comfortable in it in the waves yet. It's been a while. Um, but anyways, I put a rock in it for the, the second leg after the portages. They were great, super easy, nice and quick. And um, the rock helped a lot on North Tee. It was very calm actually when I started on North Tee, which was nice, but it got windier as I progressed and then I got a campsite, so that was fine. Um, hopefully it's calm tomorrow. Uh, the winds are supposed to be less, so that should be good. Um, I just have a lot of big lakes on this trip, uh, big to me anyways, which, um, I think I do anyways, like Manitou is huge, there's 42 sites or something on it, and uh, that's a lot, like wow. Um, anyways, um, I'm good now, I had a nice dinner, it was late, but sat around my faux campfire, my Lucy light, which does all things, I love it, and um, just came in my tent, I was listening to uh, the owls calling back and forth to each other, which was really cool, and um, <clears throat> the loons kind of taking turns between so I'm just sitting here listening to them and uh, doing some editing and uh, I should probably go to sleep because I know I'm gonna wake up really early tomorrow and get a or get an early start uh, there's risk of thunder showers and lightning tomorrow so um, if it's not raining when I get up or thunder or lightning I'm out of here I gotta go as fast as I can I want to get to bigger get a nice site and get set up um, and not have dinner at 930 <laughs>